We're now going to talk about a number of properties that we can use with real numbers. And these properties can be used when we are dealing with an operation on the same level. So what I mean by that is like strictly addition, strictly multiplication, okay? And all these properties tend to have two definitions. You have one for addition and one for multiplication. So first let's start with associative. And basically what associative is saying is if you have a string of operations that are all the same, your order doesn't matter. So what we could do is if we're dealing with one plus two plus three, we could add one plus two first and then add three. So we'd get one plus two is three plus three would be six. Or we could do two plus three first, which would be five plus one and get six as well. So order is not going to matter as long as they are on the same sort of playing field. The same thing holds true for associative. If we're multiplying all the way across, we could do four times five first and then multiply by six or five times six and then multiply it by four. You're gonna end up with the same thing. Okay, another property is commutative. And basically what commutative is saying is that your order the numbers are listed doesn't matter either. So if we are adding three plus seven, it's gonna be the same thing as seven plus three. Likewise with multiplication, 10 times four is equal to four times 10. You can easily try those out for yourself. The next property is what's called the identity. And basically the identity property is going to be the number that you either add or multiply to the number to keep it the same. So if you are dealing with addition, everything on this side is addition, by the way, you are going to add zero. Okay, any number plus zero stays the same. Whereas your identity property, anything times one, your number will remain the same. So identity of multiplication is just times one. For the inverse property, is basically the number that you want to either add or multiply to a number to get back to the identity. So if you are adding, you want to add in the opposite, the negative number of whatever you're dealing with. So if you are dealing with four, you want to add in negative four. Negative four is the inverse of four. Likewise with multiplication, you want to get back to your identity. So you want to multiply by the reciprocal, the one over whatever you're dealing with. So one ninth is the inverse of nine because when you multiply them together, you get one. Okay, so everything up until now has had an addition definition and a multiplication definition. They're pretty much the same, but basically we're dealing with addition versus multiplication. The last one is a combination of the two and it's called the distributive property, which is basically if we are multiplying a number into a sum, we can distribute that number in. So what we have here is Four times quantity seven plus two is the same thing as four times seven plus four times two. You can just distribute that four in, okay? So just a number of properties that come up pretty much on a daily basis when we're dealing with math. You may have seen a number of these in concept just to make sure we know the names as well as we go forward.